Hey, good day, legends, and thanks for tuning in. This week's video, I've got a stack of jobs to do before I head back. I've got the work truck loaded up with rubbish to head to the dump. I've got to pick up some parts in town for the work truck. I've got the trailer on the ram with another truck chassis on it. So grab your cover, your coldy, kick back, relax, and enjoy the video. Oh yeah, legend. So I got this Chevy unloaded. I got this through a deal through a mate. Uh, this will be a later on project. I want to, I want to think. I think I'm going to put the good rust free C series cab on probably this chassis and make like a tow rig welder. Like I don't know the Americans call them like welding rigs. They put big toolboxes, big service toolboxes over the over the tray, and definitely going to be fifth wheel. I'm thinking. Um, don't know how far I'll go with it. I've got a couple of different choices, but <clears throat> I do have a 345 Inter and the adapter for a GM transmission. So I could put the um, yeah, that 345 and a spare turbo 400 in it. And like I say, get the cab painted, slip it on this, make it a bit of a tow rig, bit of a yeah, cool looking setup, keep it nice and high. Don't, don't know yet, but that's like I said, this is for later down the road. but. Couldn't resist the deals. You know, me, more trucks and merrier. So yeah, added a Chevy. Well, there's another Chevy chassis over there, but add another Chevy to the collection because all these are getting lonely. So got to keep adding to it. Uh, as you can see, we've had plenty of rain up here. <laughs> I might jump on the mile for five seconds and knock down some of the taller stuff. I can't stay here long, but yeah, I'll do that. And I'm thinking I might need to grab a spare tire for the Hemi Inter. Um, another rim, because I think one of the rims that's on, it's got a slight buckle in it, I think. It feels like it anyway, so I might grab a spare tire off that chassis. Yeah, chuck in the ram, head home, go to the tire shop and get two tires fitted on the spare rim so I can swap over. So, like I said, I might jump on the mower, knock down some of the tall stuff, and then we'll head off, eh? Legends got that spare tire off. Um, for those of you who've never seen or don't know, that's yeah, that's the factory rear brake setup on a C1100 chassis. Like I said, four disc brakes, pretty wild. So yeah, that's the factory setup. Just a bit of tidbit for information. Anyone wants to know? So anyway, we're loaded up. <coughs> Let's head home, and then yeah, got to head back into town, get this tire swapped over, grab some more parts, and yeah, get in the next job. Alrighty, yeah, legends. So we just made it home. Got the new uh, steer tires here for the race car. I call, I call the, the runabout the race car, the little Mazda. So, two new steer tires, and I've got an engine mount for it. Uh, it's down the bottom at the back. So, I 
We'll go ahead, fit that mount, the new tyres, and move on to the next job, eh? Alrighty, yeah, legend. So, last job of the day, uh, I've got this York to Sandon adapter bracket here. So, I'm just going to see, um, yeah, how it goes on the hammer unit there. There's the hardware hardware for it. And I've got a 508 um, Sandon compressor here. So, like I say, I'll, I'll sit that bracket on there and see if this 508 um, bolts up, lines up. If it does, happy days. Then I know that's straightforward, the rest of the aircon. When it turns up, can fit it, and yeah, get some cold air blowing there, I guess. So I'll see if this all bolts up, eh? Alrighty, hey, legends. Well, it looks like we've had a bit of wind here, so yeah, that bracket bolted straight on, that York to sand and bolted straight on. And yeah, the sand had fitted on that bracket, as you would expect, so uh, you probably can't really see much here, but it looks like that back pulley lines up with the second pulley on the crank, so that's all gonna work. So I've got to, um, yeah, there's, this is the factory, the factory idler set up to get that belt away, to get a belt, the belt away from the fan pulley. Um, not sure if that's gonna work or not. I have to suss that out, because as you can see, the angle, or maybe you can't, the angle that that belt's gonna come, it's gonna hit that fan pulley, so there needs to be like an idler to push it away, so. See if that's going to work. If not, <clears throat> I'll just get another pulley and set it up. So yeah, that's a bit of a win. Looks like it's going to work. So still got the um, condenser and the evaporator head unit coming. So so that part of the aircon's done. So I'm really happy with that. It's absolutely sweltering up here in North Queensland. So really would be nice to have some aircon in this thing. Plan on driving around a fair bit. So anyway, legend, that's going to button up for this video. If you like what you've seen. Do us a favor, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.